Hey guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on uh, structural members or weldments and how they can be used to create various uh, tubular frames or uh, similar things. And uh, you start by making a sketch, just a sketch. And uh, as you can see, I'm making one uh, sketch entity slightly larger. We'll see why in a moment. So just exit the sketch and then select structural members on the bottom. I'm going to use an ISO, uh, ISO standard pipe and uh, I'm just going to select the sketch entities and as you can see it automatically automatically uh, creates the weldments now just exit the save and exit the feature and as you can see it already applied the corner treatment automatically as to make it nice and and, uh, and easy to weld and it didn't uh, add the uh, trim there but we're gonna add it ourselves so first select the uh, body you want to trim then select the trimming boundary which is going to be the other tube and then just click finish and as you can see it's now a very nice cut tube I'm just going to save it for a uh, moment Oops. and uh, another neat uh, trick you can do with it is uh, because it's all different bodies you can just uh, insert them insert a body sorry you can insert a solid into a new part and uh, then you can save it as a uh, step file and just send it to a machining center which will cut it out by a laser or a water jet cutting so it makes it very easy to uh, use it in a, uh, as a fabricator as well because we made the sketch uh, uh, movable it's actually pretty easy to manipulate it and change the dimensions and thus the part sizes as well and as you can see you know we can change it to look uh, smaller bigger wider and the, the best part is that the tubes automatically move with them with the measurements so when you change something you can be sure that the new parts uh, are going to be right, right size and right shape. So that's it for me, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye.